From Tampa Bay Streaming News Source, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. I'm Dee O'Reilly. It's going to be another hot and humid day across the Bay Area today. Greg Day has your full forecast coming up, but first, here are your ABC Action News headlines. A Tampa man is charged with aggravated assault for shooting a man Monday night. Police arrested Brian Sebring. The victim claims Sebring shot him after they got into an argument about politics on Facebook. The victim says Sebring showed up at his house with a gun to confront him and then shot him twice in the leg. The victim is expected to be okay. Clearwater homeowners say illegal parking near the beach is becoming a big problem. Instead of paying to park, some drivers are just parking in front lawns or in driveways. Residents want the city now to better enforce its parking rules. Council members are discussing increasing fines, but not every homeowner is 100% in favor of that. That seems outrageous, but I guess that's going to maybe take care of the problem because I, I wouldn't want to get a $100 ticket for that, you know. Yeah. The new parking plans are still being developed. The city says enforcement would likely happen on the weekends when parking is especially scarce. In South Florida, the State Commission investigating the Parkland school shooting is meeting today and tomorrow to talk about what improvements need to be made to make sure that students are safe. They'll hear from experts on securing campuses and will consider how many officers should be assigned to larger campuses. The commission must issue their final report by January 1st. A Bay Area radiology facility is accused of giving women faulty mammogram results. The mammography practice at Radiology Associates in Hudson shut down after its accreditation was pulled because it didn't meet FDA image quality standards. One patient that we spoke to says she's worried. How are they going to say, well, your x-ray looks good from your last one? You know what I mean? It just upsets me. It does. Affected patients are warned to have mammograms or viewed to determine whether a repeat mammogram at another facility is now needed. In the meantime, the Radiology Center says it's working to get re-accredited. Later this month, the Florida Supreme Court is going to hear arguments on whether a constitutional amendment to ban Greyhound racing in the state will appear on the November 6th ballot. The Florida Greyhound Association sued, claiming Amendment 13 is misleading to voters. Animal advocates disagree and believe that voters will end dog racing in Florida. Starting this Sunday, people living in Polk County will be able to buy alcohol as early as 7 a.m. Last night, commissioners voted 3 to 2 to extend beer and wine sales on Sundays from 7 a.m. to 2 a.m. This new ordinance mirrors one already in place in the cities of Lakeland and Lake Wales. I want to check in now with Greg D for your forecast. We're looking at dry weather to start today, but as we go into the afternoon, the sea breeze is going to get going right around lunchtime in places like Pinellas, Pasco, and Manatee County. Those storms will then shift east toward downtown Tampa during the mid afternoon. There could still be some rain around the evening drive, though I think by then a lot of the stronger storms will be shifting toward eastern Hillsboro over towards Polk County as everything today moves west to east. You can track the storms with the Storm Shield app. It's free in your app store, Dia. All right, thanks, Greg. You can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download the free ABC Action News app to receive breaking news alerts. This ABC Action News Brief was brought to you by AlertFloridaToday.com. Bicyclists always wear a helmet and ride in the same direction of traffic on the street because safety doesn't happen by accident.